Wow, I will just look at this beautiful solar eclipse image. Yeah, I wish we could see these eclipses more often. Guess what? Your wish is coming true. Really? Yes. ISRO is about to launch Aditya, one of the first ever Indian space mission to study the sun. And there is an instrument on board Aditya which will create artificial eclipses for us. Come here, I will show you. Suppose there is an artificial eclipse, then we will able to see hotter and outermost layer of the sun, which is called Corona. We will also able to see these beautiful patterns like this, and ultimately we will able to see these violent and fascinating structures called CMEs, coronal mass ejections. And ISRO is sending Aditya one spacecraft to study these eruptions. Okay, these eruptions do look nice, but why do you need to bother about them? One second, I need to take this call. No, you can't. Because if one of these eruptions hits our view home, then you won't be able to answer your phone call for several hours. Fine, I will watch some movies in that time. I'm sorry. But then your TV will also stop working. Yes. But how? Okay, okay. Let's ask those who work on these eruptions. Well, these eruptions or coronal mass ejections can be the reason for huge geomagnetic storms at Earth. Now that can cause power blackouts like this. They can even interrupt radio communications across different parts of the globe and may even pose threat to astronauts in space. Now, we are trying to understand them right after their birth. For that, we really need to observe them very close to the sun. Is that possible? Well, it's very challenging from an engineering perspective, but thanks to Aditya L1 that we are now equipped with the required instruments which will make this possible. Wow, when is the launch? It's on this Saturday, September 2nd. All the best to Aditya L1. Let us extend our wishes for a successful launch. All the best, Aditya!